guys, Roger 3D here. Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 4. And when we last left off, we made it through Bingo. And now we're continuing our mission to find Ashley. Now these guys are going to get triggered in a minute. But before we trigger them, let's go ahead and grab this blue medallion. Alright, this pretty much just telling us about the uh, medallions. Alright, so we got 15 blue medallions. 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. Or 8, or eight in, the in the cemetery. Oh, we only have to destroy 10 to get the um, the gun. But I think it's all together, it's 15, right? Okay. So, let's go ahead and trigger these guys. Let's see if we get a headshot. Scared me so bad. Right, let's grab the ammo. Headshot. Really? Finally. Oh, there he is. I, I know it's another guy here somewhere. No, you don't. I think that's all of them. So now what we can do is... I want to get this medallion up here. And let's go ahead and get these blue ones. Come on. that one. Let's check over here real quick. Tip the cows. So, like I was saying before in episode one, my theory is that this game is going to be closely related to the new Resident Evil 7 game that's coming out. And I'll tell you why. So, you got these crazy villages, right? So, let's just say during this time, you know this virus or the Los Plagas is coming out. Let's take the spindle. And then all these people 
came crazy. Now, if you notice, some of them are just straight out crazy, and then some of them kind of still keep their mindset where they kind of know who they are. Or not really. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about later. Like, uh, some of them still kind of know what's going on. They're not quite, you know, quite stupid. Okay, I gotta go the other way to push that. So I'm thinking maybe some of the people who left this village. Alright, let's go ahead and get him. Oh! So some of the people could have left the village, you know, started a family after, you know, Lord Sadler died, who was the uh, main villain in this game, of course, if you didn't know that. After he died, he lost control over the rest of the villagers. So they didn't know what to do. They decided, hey, let's just leave this place. There's nothing left for us here. So they started, you know another settlement somewhere else possibly a family you know the usual the usual stuff and then maybe years later something happened that triggered them and they went crazy again and they went back to their old ways and that's how Resident Evil 7 started actually let's go on the other side and shoot it and I'm thinking I don't think there's going to be any of the um like the main people from Resident Evil they're like Leon or Claire I think we're gonna be doing one whole new batch of Resident Evil people alright so I think we got everything we need from oh you know what I almost forgot Day. I needed to push that thing out of the way Maybe man, we couldn't push it from the one side. Okay, so. This bear stein. We can add more jewelry to it. That will make it cost more when we go to sell it. But we haven't even met the uh, merchant yet. You guys will meet the merchant in a minute. But yeah, that's just my theory on uh, Resident Evil. We can't go this way yet. The uh, gate is locked. Oh, I'm going the wrong way anyway. So the gate is locked. Oh, there's something over there. We're missing stuff. We're missing stuff. Hold on. Hold on. We are missing stuff. everything I did notice those chicken laid eggs too we're not going to be able to go this way we need Ashley to get through this you'll see why later
That'll be later. Later, later, later. But we have to go this way. Now those chickens laid eggs earlier. I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. I'm almost completely out of, well, I'm actually out of handgun rounds. But what we're gonna do first is Go ahead and save our progress so we're not doing this over again. Alright, now we're going to make our way to the other way. I hope you guys enjoyed 10 minutes of me just talking about nothing <laughs> while we make our way through here. Alright, so whenever you, remember I said whenever you see these red crosses, that means it's a trap. So what we have to do is I can't remember if it's oh yeah, it's the boulder. <laughs> yeah, I could. you know what? And because it's a quick time event, I didn't know what what buttons to press because this is my first time playing it with the PlayStation 4. I knew it was going to be it's going to be a single button and then two buttons at the end. So that's how it was on the GameCube. So I, I kind of assumed it was going to be the trigger buttons. Because that's what it was on the uh, GameCube anyway. So I'm glad I didn't die on the first try. Let's go ahead and get these. Wasting my ammo. But we'll be able to buy more later. Now. This part is going to be a doozy. Now this is where the dynamite come into play. See this guy right here? He's holding a stick of dynamite right there. Let's see if we can hit it from here. <laughs> Trying to hit the dynamite. And now he's turned around. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to hit it. Did he just run away? You mother. Alright, that's going to be, um... There's going to be bad traps all around here. If I can remember where, they, where they're at. Throwing dynamite at me. All right, there's a guy in here with with dynamite. Let's see if we can hit him. He throw like a girl. Before he throws it, or uh, maybe we can hit this guy holding his dynamite up in the air like an idiot. Oh, come on! Come on, you can do it! That's why I need my sniper rifle. I can't hit it. 
There we go. And I'm out of bullets. Last shot. Alright, I'm not going to be able to reach this guy from here, so let's get these out of the way. Leon, how, do you have to be like up on it? To hit it? out of the way first. He just blew himself up. Yeah, he blew himself up. Alright. Try to... Trying to shoot the dynamite. Uh, blow yourself up, idiot. Alright. Let's see if we get. Oh, you know what? We can get him to walk through his own dynamite trap, right? I think we can. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna do it. He's too smart for me. Oh, thank you. Alright, now we should be able to shoot the dynamite out of his hand, probably. I think we got them all. Let's double check everything. Yeah, that's everything. Let's go and open this up. Here, 
got some more loot. That's going to be, yeah. Just have to shoot that. And it should be one in here. Yep. Now we hear banging. So we'll find out who that is in a minute. this out of the way. Alright, we're about to trigger a cutscene here. See? There's somebody banging on that cabinet. Now, you might think, it, oh, it's a monster in there. Nope. Nip. Find out in a minute. Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Now we're about to we're about to meet Perfect. the chief. The so this is the Mandes guy. What? Through chapter one, we're on chapter one dash two now. Yeah, we'll override it. Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. <clears throat> so that's what I was talking about with some of the people in the villages may be more prone to the to the disease than others hey hey wake up but i think it it finally catches up with uh, them later yai. crawl out of one hole and into another you want to tell me what's going on here americano see now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world oh hey easy whoever you are <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Really? He okay, doesn't look like a cop. let me guess. <laughs> She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah. Just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. Oh, he's come. That's one of the guys I shot in the face. He's come back and for revenge. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. Used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. 
Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the Force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Alright, here's another quick time. Let's see if I know what buttons to press. They're gonna try to switch it up on me. Do something, cop! After you. Okay. Oh, eat it! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was uh, a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right, guys. We're back into it. We got rid of that ugly brown jacket, so... There's actually... There's a part in here where we get body armor. You'll see what I'm talking about in two seconds here you're gonna meet one of the best part of this game the merchant over here stranger over here stranger so this guy uh, and we're about to get our rifle so we're not gonna save yet but we are gonna save after we buy our goodies. Let's go beat up with the merchant. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Alright, so now we get to buy Weapons. What are you buying? All right, so we get a case upgrade later. Um, we're not gonna buy it yet. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a treasure map. Don't really care for that. But I do want the rifle. Rocket launcher. So he doesn't have a really large selection right now, but he he will it will extend as the game go. So what we're gonna get right now is we need the rifle. Is that old stranger? We need we need this. <laughs> and Gonna get the uh, <laughs> scope. Thank you. Is that old strike? <laughs> Thank you. And that's gonna be it for now. Oh, and also. The other thing about what this, we can boy? upgrade weapons. So, we can make the gun more powerful, the capacity on it better. Uh, we're not going to do that just yet. Still want to hold on to my money. What are you selling? Uh, we can sell him. How do I get to the other menu? Oh, here we go. Like, we can sell all these these treasures that we've been finding we can sell them these um, I'm not gonna sell them the bear stein right now because right now it's 3,000 for it if I add other jewels to it it'll increase the price so we're going to hold off Alright, 
First things first. Let's get this rifle going. Did it. Did I equip it to it? I don't feel like I equipped it. It says it's equipped. Let's, oh, yeah, it's on there. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah, buddy. You done messed up now. You done messed up now. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to show you a trick. There's a little gap right here. What you can do is, we can actually start sniping them from here take out the major ones first like this clown right here but before we do that what that's how I was gonna do first um, get this over here so I'm gonna save it first I screw up. Alright, let's go and save. 